This video introduces how to configure voucher-based authentication on Wagia Cloud to prevent Wi-Fi hotspot sharing. When a user shares their data plan with others via a Wi-Fi hotspot, the ISP's revenue is quietly disappearing. Don't worry, Wagia Cloud provides voucher-based authentication to effectively prevent Wi-Fi hotspot sharing by limiting the number of clients allowed to access the network. The configuration only takes three steps. Choose Auth and Accounts Captive Portal and click Add Captive Portal to create a Captive Portal policy. Configure a policy name and set policy mode to Cloud Auth. Set Authentication Device and select the Service Set Identifier SSID, to enable authentication. After connecting to the SSID, users must pass authentication before accessing the Internet. Toggle on Seamless Online as required. If you enable this feature, users can directly access the Internet without authentication within Seamless Online period. Toggle on Portal Escape as required. If you enable this feature, all users are allowed to directly access the Internet without authentication when the authentication server malfunctions. Click Add Page to create the authentication page displayed after a client connects to the SSID. Set Portal Name. Set Setting Mode. After you set the mode to HTML customization, you can create a personalized login page using an HTML template and must set the login option to Voucher. In this video, the default mode is used as an example. Set Login Options to Voucher. Toggle on Show Balance page as required. If you enable this feature, users can view the available duration and data after portal authentication. Configure the URL to which clients are redirected upon successful authentication. In the Portal Visual Settings area, you can customize the style of the portal page by uploading a logo and a background image, and configuring text information. A real-time preview is displayed on the right. Click OK to complete the creation of the portal page. Select the created portal page and click OK to complete the creation of the captive portal policy. Choose Auth and Accounts, User Management, User Group, and click Add to create a user group. Set user group name. Set price, which indicates the price of the data plan associated with this user group. Set concurrent devices, which specifies the maximum number of concurrent connected clients. If the parameter is set to 1, only one client is allowed to access the internet, preventing Wi-Fi hotspot sharing. Specify the validity period of the voucher, which starts from the user's first access to the Wi-Fi network. Configure the total data quota for user access and set the maximum upload and download rates. Toggle on Bind Mac on first use as required. If you enable this feature, the device's MAC address is bound upon its first network connection. Toggle on Bind SSID slash network as required. If you enable this feature, users in the user group can access the internet only through the selected SSID. Toggle on Client Disconnect as required. If you enable this feature, you can manually disconnect some clients when the number of clients connected to an SSID exceeds the limit. Click OK. Click the Voucher tab and click Add. Enter the number of vouchers to be generated and select the associated user group. When users use the vouchers for internet access, their network behaviors will be managed by the user group policy. Click User Information setting to expand the area and configure user information. Click Advanced setting to expand the area and configure voucher code type and voucher length. Click OK to generate vouchers and distribute them to users. After a user connects to the Wi-Fi network, an authentication page pops up. The user can access the internet only after entering the voucher distributed by the ISP.
Thank you for watching. Scan the QR code on the left to provide feedback or share your suggestions about the video. Scan the QR code on the right to access product documentation on the Ruijie Rui official website. Your support is the driving force for our progress. See you in the next video.